New license office opening today in Rogersville. That's right. Reagan DeTrolio is there now live with a look at what this means for the community. Reagan, good morning. Good morning, Chad and Jackie. Well, the community now has this brand new space to use so they don't have to travel as far. And if you remember that wait time compliance program I told you about a couple weeks ago, that is being used in DMVs across the state starting this month. But it's extra important right here in Southwest Mo. This is an area of the state where the population has just exploded. The transaction counts are dramatically going up 50, 100, 200% in all the offices around here. So it was definitely a need. A need that is now filled by this new Rogersville license office located on 102 East Front Street in the downtown area. Rod Jetton with the Department of Revenue explains how each DMV office is operating now that the rules are enforced. They commit to a wait time, 15 minutes, 30 minutes. They kind of make that commitment and they get points based on that. And all we want to do is just hold them accountable to whatever they committed. Jetton says the DOR will check in with each DMV to see if there's enough workers, seating and space. Something contractor Stephanie White says this new DMV has. This is our primary waiting room um, for all of our customers, both motor vehicle and driver's license. When they come in, they would want to grab a number and they're color coded. So green will be for driver's license. It matches the green numbers that are up there and blue will be for motor vehicle. Stephanie also showed me what sets this DMV apart from the rest. This is a room that kids can come and watch videos, color, read books play with some toys while they're waiting on either their parents or even a sibling yeah. to, you know, get their driver's license for the first time. And Jetton says having this Rogersville license office is going to change the game. I think the citizens of this area, you know, both in the northern Christian County, you know, eastern Greene County, as well as Webster County, are all going to benefit greatly from having another office that they can go to, get in and get out and get what they need done so they can go back to being a successful, happy taxpayer and not have to deal with the DMV as little as possible. And this DMV is now fully operational, so if you need to renew your license or grab tags, you can now stop on in.